Viral Sucks was a talk I got to give Friday, um, and it really is unpacking sort of the loaded, I'd say overloaded expectations that come with that V word. It, it makes me cringe. It's like kind of like nails on a chalkboard when I hear that word viral, right? Um, I think that viral is often um, the wrong goal. You know, in fact, it's not even a goal. It, it's not a um, it's not a strategy. Viral is an outcome, and by all means, if if viral happens, God bless you. It's great. I, I wish you all the the viralist of success. But it's kind of like you know, winning the lottery is not your retirement strategy, right? So what what's a real goal? What's a business goal? Let's make a content and a distribution plan that can actually achieve success, whether or not virality happens. In my talk, I translate like if you hear the word viral in a marketing setting, what they're really saying is I have huge expectations and a tiny budget, right? I mean, that, that's really what it, it comes from. And I think if you go back to a few of the early viral videos, right? Chocolate Rain, uh, Numa Numa, um, you know, I think a Star Wars kid is another one I reference. These all happened at a time when, you know, according to, you know, Mary Meeker's trends presentation, there was a 10th to even a 20th of the content being loaded into the web every day five years ago as there is today, right? And that today is a fraction of what there will be tomorrow. So as there's more noise in the digital web, it becomes harder and harder to just make something good or great and let that thing take off on its own, right? So the expectations, the load expectations come from five, six, seven years ago when really people were going, well, I could be that funny. I could, psh, I could do something better than that, right? But it's that much harder to cut through the noise. And for brands, it's even that much harder to tell a compelling story that is on brand, on strategy, on message, oh, and also is compelling enough to be shared in the social web.